sometimes I know I'm doing the live lunches on Wednesday live lunch and good news is is that um, people like them and so we're gonna what I want to talk about is starting to get everybody a little bit more on board with what's happening on the planet right now that it's personal it's not personal external but it's personal to you right so let's see if you guys are here let's see so well anyway i'm gonna keep chatting i know everybody's like popping in and out but uh, there's a a phrase that goes oh hi beautiful how are you by the way go check your your text that i hopefully sent you that you saw that i sent you a um a text so anyway um there's a phrase that goes how you do anything is how you do everything and it's how I'm looking at the world right now. How you do anything is how you do everything. And if you can't, if you can't get wrap your brain around this, I want you to understand that you're a frequency, you're an energy, right? Oh, hi, beautiful. So anyway, um, how you do relationships is how you will do your money. How you do your money is how you will do your friendships. How you do your friendships is how you will do your your dress, how you put yourself together, how um, you take care of yourself, how you take care of yourself is how you take care of your um, your health, right? Are you lazy somewhere? It will show up where you don't want it. How you do anything is how you do everything in your life. It's your energy. And so if you don't want that energy to seep into parts that you don't want, which is typically love and money, right? That's where we don't want our energy to, to seep in. Um, or at least it's where I see it the most in relationship coaching and relationship um, discussions. So welcome everybody. So when, when I speak of how you do anything is how you do everything, anything, okay? It's how you're gonna apply it to everything. And so what many people are feeling all of you on the planet right now is death. How you do death is how you do everything. And I mean death by letting things go and how you do bring on new things, right? And so the reason I'm bringing this up is how well are you letting go of how you see your body, how you take care of your body, your health. Physical pain is showing up for people right now. And they're like, I can't believe it. Yes, believe it, because your body has to let go of the old you, and you need to embrace who you want the new you to be. And this isn't, they're like, well, no, let's look at the media. Let's look at the politics. Let's look at religion. Let's look at um, medicine. Let's look at pharma. We're all having this distorted bullshit discussion that's not true. Why? Because every one of you have come down here with a soul blueprint. Now, remember, when I talk about soul blueprint, it's the blueprint tattoo of your of your soul right when you were born you came through the galaxy through all the planets and you got tattooed with an energy frequency and you can look at your energy frequency on my website i deserve it now.com you can go to tools there's a free birth chart right there if you want to do your free birth chart you can see your soul blueprint now you can also go take the zodiac wheel has your medicine wheel course and learn what your blueprint is you all came here for a specific energetic frequency shift you all came here to do something on the planet that will shift the world. And because you're here to do that thing, stop trying to do what everyone else is doing. Stop trying to, you know, take care of yourself or be a marathon runner when you're not a marathon runner. You're a yoga person. Or tr like me, I don't like yoga. So stop trying to do yoga when I want to go do mountain biking. We have to start living our soul's blueprint. And when you do that, everything else works out. <laughs> everything else falls into place. Everything else becomes the thing of your vibration. All right. And so you're all going to be pushed to see your soul's blueprint. 
Right now, you're all being pushed to see it. Things that you don't like in your life right now are because the universe is pushing all of us on this planet to see why we're here. Some people are here to shift politics out of the old, burning down the old system and bringing it into new. Some people are here to burn out the old way we did, um, you know, marketing and selling and teaching ourselves. And some people are coming into new marketing, new selling, new ways to teach our, the world about ourselves. There, ah, see, there's someone on here with me right now. There are some people here to teach spiritual truth. That is me. Y'all know I don't buy into this religious bullshit. Because it's a total bull crock of shit when we tell people this box and this book, and I don't care which doctrine you follow, so I'm referring to all religion. I'm not saying religion is bad. I'm saying we have to look at our spiritual truth and understand that that is who your soul blueprint came to learn. That is who your soul blueprint came to teach and shine light on the world as a lighthouse. So if I'm here to teach spiritual truth and I get locked into one doctrine, it does none of you any good. But that's in my blueprint. That's what my truth says. So go on to my blue, go on to the website. You can take Zodiac Wheels, your medicine wheel. If you don't take, I've never taken the class. It's there. Um, you can take it and learn your four hot spots. Where do you get stuck in life? Start applying how you do the good things in life. What's easy for you? Apply what you're good at to what you're bad at. And a lot of you aren't doing that. You're not applying what you're good at to what you're bad at. I'm good at seeing what you can't see. I'm good at seeing truth. I see through all the bullshit truth on the planet and people are like, no. I'm like, I've been telling you this for 30 years now. Here we sit. And all the things that I was trashed for, religion, spirituality, health, big pharma, medicine, it's all crumbling to the ground now. And Renun's saying, wow, can you believe this is happening? Yes, I've been telling you for 30 years this. And now I'm the one being asked, Dawn, what's going to happen? Where are we going? How do we heal this? And I'm like, y'all trash me for 30 years. Why do I have to do it now? And now I want to give up. I won't, but I'm giving you the example. It gets to the point where you're going to feel like you want to give up. You're not giving up. You came here to shine, not dim. You came here to be your most vibrant self with your soul's blueprint. Go look up your astrology chart. Go see how gifted you are in these areas. Apply what you're good at to the four weak spots that you're not good at. And watch your life, watch your world explode. You will blow your mind how much easier life gets when you allow others to help you with what you're not good at. So this is a very big deal when you start looking at what's happening on the planet right now. We are looking at such micro, minutia, tiny little dots of, of information from other people. And going, this is the way it is. And the answer is no, that's not the way it is. The way it is is that you came here to expand and blow up your soul's blueprint to its highest level, the brightest light you can be. I don't care if you're in the health field, the medical field, the, the political field, the spiritual field, the, um, what else? Educational field. If you're in education, you have a huge opportunity right now to break down all the old barriers and quit playing the old bullshit of like memorization bullshit and all that crap that's going on in the world of how we all had to learn. I didn't do well in school because I didn't follow the rules because it was stupid. Ton of that, ton of that stuff we've all learned, my age group and below, has nothing to do with the success I have. I learned because I went and looked for what I needed to shine my light. I want you guys to think about this. So whatever you're gifted in, start learning how to shine it. Turn up that volume as bright as you can and give your gifts to people and quit questioning your worth and questioning your value. My continuous and ongoing truth from this point forward, it always has been my mission statement. I am here to raise the self-worth of the planet. And if I have to do it with one, 10 or 5,000 of you, I will do it. So by the way, we have an upcoming um, Conscious Creator course coming up. It is for advanced students. You can take the course. So I want you all to go sign up on my website. Go to my link in my bio. You can sign up. Um, you just have to take the, the digital course prior to um, attending. It is in a month from now, four weeks. So get yourself signed up. Join in. I'm taking you guys to conscious creating, creating every step of your life, every topic in your life, all of it from self-worth to money to speaking, communication to family, um, children, partnerships, love, career, social, mental health, all of it. 
So anyway, we're going to be discussing that in that course, as well as all the digital courses on my website. You can just tap on IDeserveItNow.com and go to courses and you'll be able to sign up for any of the ones that are in there. I am going to start loading up the new uh, Parenting Through the Zodiac course because parents keep coming to me le recently and asking me to help their kids. And my answer is help yourself and your kids will follow. Anyway, there was my rant on how you do anything is how you do everything. I love you all. I will see you on Monday. Sign up for Truth Tribe. Tap again. Link in bio. It's free. Join me at the Truth Tribe and we're going to deep dive into your soul's blueprint on Monday and have a discussion on how you need to step up has nothing to do with what you're watching in the world right now and it has everything to do with you owning why you signed up to show up on this planet at this date at this time to be a badass. I love you all. You guys have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday. Take care.